panic. Look at him go. Look at What is up, G Squad? Welcome back to another awesome video. If you guys could not tell by today's title and thumbnail, we have a, it's kind of a sad day in a way, but it's also a happy day as well. Let me explain. We are bringing Toothless over to Jerry's house. We, me and him are just gonna talk. I don't know what the plan is just yet. And um, you should all know my, my good friend Jerry Wolf. He's got a YouTube channel himself, Wolf's World. He's got a crazy, insane monitor collection from Black Dragons, from Gurus, to Sulfurs, all the way down to T-negative, Albino, water monitors. We are going to be bringing Toothless over there. Now, Toothless ended up being a female, and I, from the jump, bought it as a male and wanted it to kind of be this huge monitor lizard, and she is not going to be that huge monitor lizard because it is a female. And of course, I just wanted a male. I don't want to have to deal with the problems of egg laying. And Jerry has gotten that all the way down to the notch. He has gotten all that figured out. He is having monitors lay eggs all the time. He's hatching monitors, the whole nine yards with that. Unfortunately, we're not looking to hatch any monitors because we don't have the room like Jerry does. Unfortunately, today, we are getting rid of Toothless, our black dragon. On the brighter side of things, we are probably going to be trading her for a newer monitor, which is looking like a male. And um, it's not a black dragon, but it is a guru. So it's gonna have more color. It's gonna be yellow and black. It's gonna have some big old spots on the back. It's not gonna be that nice black dragon, but we never know. Eventually with the way that we're going, we might be able to upgrade our house again and get a huge property just like Jerry. With that being said, I'll give you guys some updates around this house and then I'll catch you over at Jerry's. We got an hour and 12 minute drive. So hopefully you all enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for me. I'll catch you guys at Jerry's after I give you guys some updates. Coming back up to our vision cage rack. Let's check on some of our beautiful... Where are you? Oh, I see her. This female is the sassiest of them all. Hi, girl. There she is. This is our Exantic King Rat Snake. Look at her, such a beautiful snake. Here is our male Exanthic King Rat. He just got out of a beautiful shed. The more they shed, the more changes they go through. Basically just like a lot of reptile species. So they look brown right now, but these guys are going to be all black and white. Actually got all the gecko racks now sitting under here. Looks absolutely amazing. Still got our adults in there. We're gonna be moving most of the adults into these. We're gonna make them all bioactive. You guys, a couple little updates inside of the snake and gecko room. Now it is time to catch Toothless and get her inside of a tote and bring her on over to Jerry's. Like I said, we've got an hour and 12 minute drive, so buckle up, ladies and gents. Ugh, hate driving. Here she is. She's absolutely started to hate my guts out here. But like, Jer like I said, Jerry kind of keeps most of his monitors more of like a wild type, so she would thrive out there. We've gotten her loaded up, and uh, wow, she is not thrilled, everybody. <laughs> we could definitely say that, but I know she's gonna live the life with Jerry. I mean, he takes immaculate care of all of his reptiles, so I couldn't think of anybody better than Jerry, so I'll see you guys there. Jerry, I must say, you really do live in the middle of absolutely nowhere, brother. Holy smokes, but what a cool property to say the least. We are just pulling in now. <laughs> Walking up, the first thing I see is uh, a couple thousand dollars worth of monitors. <laughs> What's going on, Jerry? How you doing? So good to finally have you out here. Long time no see. Holy smokes. These are the T-negative albino Asian water monitors. There's ones over here on the log, full sun in themselves. Wow, dude. That is, like I say, they rely more on their tongue and less on their vision, so they're they're not as afraid. Look, it's not even afraid of the camera like that the other monitors. so incredible, dude. They're, they're that chill. Look at that. That's incredible. And then he also has some newer babies that just hatched inside of the garage. We'll give you guys a sneak peek at those as well. Look at the property that Jerry's got over here. This pond, oh, couldn't imagine if we had this thing. To, the trouble we'd get into if we had this pond right now. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, you know, I've been trying to keep it all native fish in here. 
I see and a bunch I was, of like the brim and the bluegills in there. Oh, dude, wait, wait. So they, uh, there's some pretty maxed out brim in there. Oh, dude, that one is huge. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's hundreds. I feed them every morning. All right. So <laughs> the, the area we just walked into, you see a whole bunch of chickens, rabbits, and turkeys and everything Turkey. running around. This is going to be a play area. So if we want to film one specific monitor from our collection, we'll walk them up the hallway and there'll be a waterfall with running water, a little basin, maybe a little walkover bridge, and then a larger swimming area probably in here. That's and awesome. And we'll be able to have an interactive video with one specific lizard at a time in this area and there'll be all sorts of plants and everything in here so what a good idea it's a work in progress and it was a place to set these guys up until their permanent cages were built but um I remember this black rooster he's in a yam samani so he's actually got black meat organs i've seen a like a a whole black chicken that's obviously this not. is a cross between an Ayam Samani, so she's halfway there. Whoa, that thing is awesome. It kind of reminds me of like the Cayuga duck with mm -hmm. like the blues in it. It's really mm -hmm. cool looking. Lily! Hi, Lily. Oh yeah, she's got a chunky old belly. Yeah, she's she's digging around the lay. Come here. You don't want an egg? Oh yeah, yeah she does. Of course you do. She's a funny one. Look at him, he wants the egg too. <laughs> he, he wants Lily is what he wants. He's in love with her. There goes the rooster. Oh yeah. That rooster is funny. You're gonna drop the egg. <laughs> she uh she dropped her egg right there. Gonna eat the shells and then she'll go back for all the good stuff. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. See, he doesn't usually go after eggs. He's doing it for for the G squad over here. He's going through a good shed right now. You're gonna drop it off the ledge. Look at him go. Now, when I tell you guys I want a, a, a big dragon, this is this is what I mean. I mean. He's not even done growing yet. Oh no, he's still still a young man. Funny thing about him is he lost the tip of his tongue. To her? <laughs> to she, Lily? Yeah. She, she took the tip of his tongue. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Now you got it cracked. Right down the hatch. It kind of seems like he was doing a Lily technique there. <laughs> he, he was. was throwing the egg down. Look at those her. teeth. All right, buddy. This is Frosty the White Throat. Oh, here he comes. Did you see that tongue flicking through the flaps? <laughs> there he is. He is a really pretty white throat. Come on, buddy. Come on, Frosty. They look just like the Velociraptors in uh, Jurassic Park. Here he I knew he was gonna drop it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey buddy how you doing so what's so cool about frosty is how white Holy he is cow. he is so so white now do all white throats get like that um not that i've seen yeah because he's super white super super white he almost looks exantic so these were um produced by um greg o'leary who used to breed white throats and black throats. Um, we bought out the rest of his collection, so we got Frosty. All right, buddy. And the black throat male. And we have... Oh, he's pretty gentle with it, huh? Yeah, he's a <laughs> slow eater. He is. He takes his time eating. He is awesome, dude. He's huge. He's growing. He's in his, like... Big growth spurt. I think in the next year we're gonna determine how large he's gonna get. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, you don't mess around with food. Here he comes. 
Hey, Look buddy. at the oranges and peaches yeah. on his face. So he is a totally different monitor. So he's either what you would call a northern white throat or a white-throated savanna monitor. Um, feel how soft he is. He looks soft. His back. Yeah. It's totally different. Why than, is that? Is that just how they are? I suppose. He's the only one I've seen. <laughs> and they stopped importing them <laughs> like 10 years ago, so we won't see any more of them. That's such a good shot. <laughs> hey buddy so all these guys that you guys saw earlier in the water they're going back into their little enclosure all right buddy holy dude oh. that's just insane got a uh, chef jerry and a shrimp he just chopped up let's yeah. see if this newest clutch of albino water monitors wants to eat some shrimp yes tong feeding from the hand that's what you want to see. That guy is so awesome. This is Boba. This is Jerry's holdback. My favorite out of the Guru Sulfurs. Hey, Boba. Come on. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at him go. I love how yellow his head is. That's what the sulfur that takes play? Yeah, and the father is already a guru sulfur mix so we're actually mixing the father with a guru so getting those real pretty ocelli on the back but also getting like those vivitatis bands and then hopefully what will turn into just like the dad a mostly yellow head so and nice. i think what little bit of modeling dark is going to go away um because i did have a young vivitatis male that started with the 50 50 head and uh -huh. now it's now it's mostly yellow For the purpose of me breeding, that's all I look for. So I didn't work with more than that. Right. Norm is actually sold, so. You're beautiful loser, Norm. For sure. Really, really clean and dark. Yeah, and super nice. Not skittish. Wow. So we have uh, made up our mind while the cameras were off. This beautiful Guru Sulfur Monitor is coming home with us. Look at that male. Such a beautiful lizard. So highly patterned too. Love it. And it's only gonna get prettier with the shed. I mean, for... Is the camera being in its face and all that, you see the lizard's not running it's against pretty, the screen trying to get away good, or anything. Yeah. I mean, it's not tongue flicking and trying to climb up on us. Right. But, you know, Boba gets more of my attention just because it turned into my favorite and Pete. still. <laughs> Boba. Hi, Boba. Hi. So this is the older clutch, mate. Nope, same clutch. Oh. Actually, it could even be the younger clutch. Really? Just a lizard that just has crazy growth. Just grew past everyone. In fact, when I had the 14 of them or however there were, however many there were in that clutch, um, it grew so fast past them in the first like three weeks i had to separate it out oh, so wow. it couldn't be part of the group wow. so and always has that giant belly i mean it ate the same that everyone else just yeah. ate that's look at you bubba you are beautiful absolutely beautiful so you see all these enclosures that are very nicely set up this is going to be toothless's new enclosure until she is a uh, Pretty much settled in and then Jerry's gonna probably add her into the backyard collection. I have a four by four by six foot tall that she'll go into next. Perfect. So, so we'll we'll put her in here for the next couple weeks, get her to calm down, get her eating good, and then introduce her to the outdoor enclosure. Plus we're at the very tail end of any cold snaps. Right. I keep everything outdoors, so um, that's where she'll be. And I have a perfect male black dragon for, for her in the future, so. Hey. So eventually we'll be able to see maybe some of Toothless's babies here. That would be insane to see. Are you gonna get pissed if I rename her? No, you could rename her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but eventually we'll be able to see some of her babies over here at Jerry's house. And uh, she's honestly probably gonna do better in here because when we did move her into that huge enclosure, she kind of got all freaked out and 
Uh, the, it's a normal thing though, right? The solid walls on three sides, the roof, it's gonna give her a lot of security right, right away. Yeah. I still won't give her a hide spot. Her only hide spot's gonna be gonna behind, be behind that, that wood. So okay. she'll, she'll have to interact with me. She'll have to learn to not run and hide when I'm around. The only place she'll have to really hide is the submerge in her water. Right. Um, I appreciate it, Jerry. My Thank pleasure. You. I good. know. I think it's a good deal for both of us. For sure. I couldn't think and, of anybody uh, better. And this way, both lizards are really staying in the family. Right. And you could always come and see the guru, and I could always come and see the black dragon. So, like I said to all of you guys, I couldn't think of a better person than Jerry. I mean, you guys all see how he takes care of all of his awesome, massive water monitors and all of his other monitor species. So, I do appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you very much. We've got, a, we've got a long ride home with a brand new monitor in the trunk, so I'll catch you guys back into the backyard. See you guys there. Anyways, we are on our way home. We've got our brand new monitor in the back. I'm gonna need some awesome name suggestions down below, please, because unfortunately, working with Toothless didn't work out how I wanted it to. And I mean, of course, I love Toothless, one of my favorite lizards I've ever owned, but with her being female and everything like that, I just was, I want a male, so I don't have to deal with, you know, possibly them going egg bound and whatnot. It's a huge problem that sometimes these monitors run into. But uh, we've got our possible male Guru Sulfur monitor in the back. So we're gonna, we're gonna grow this guy out and see how he kind of develops. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Dude, seriously, I look like alfalfa. Watch this. Anyways, I'll catch you guys back at my house with the brand new monitor. I'm so excited, hopefully you guys are as well. We're finally back at the house. I'm gonna give you guys a nice look at him and then we're gonna leave him alone for a couple days. You guys all know the gist of things here. We don't like to bug anybody that's new. So we're gonna just uh, put a water bowl in, leave him alone, give you guys a better look at that amazing, amazing monitor that we just picked up from Wolf's World. So here he is. I know it's some bad lighting. You guys can already see those bands coming through. Very beautiful patterned lizard. Uh, very, very stressed out right now, so we're gonna definitely leave him alone. And I'll pick this camera up tomorrow morning. Hopefully he'll be kind of basking out up here, and I can give you guys a nice look at him. But for now, I'm gonna definitely put the camera down and leave him alone. We got the water bowl in. Beautiful lizard up here. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. So G-Squad, here we are with our brand new monitor. Still a little freaked out, of course. Settling into a new New environment, new home. It's been about a week and a half since we have got the beautiful little monitor. And there he is. He has just been loving it. It's probably a little warmer here than it is over at Jerry's because he's a little bit more north than I am, but the eating machine. I can definitely say that it, he is an eating machine, but uh, he's just been settling in and I just want to give you guys a nice good look at him now that he's a little bit more settled in. Beautiful, beautiful patterns on this guy. Oh, there he goes. Hi. Hi, Bubba. Hi, baby. He's just chilling. But that is that, you guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. We need some good name suggestions down below. Please leave some comments, everybody. So now that I've given you guys a nice update after we hit that two-week mark, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, everybody, make sure you guys are tuned in and have those notification bells smashed so you guys are in tune when we drop next video. That is uh, going to be, I know I mentioned in the last video we were getting the two snakes in. That is actually going to be next video, not this video. So like I said, just stay tuned to see the brand new snakes that we are bringing in. With that being said, everybody, I'll catch you on next one. Peace out, G-Squad.